order to teach yourself new chords that you have not been taught before or that you have never played, you need to know how to read a ukulele chord chart. So what you will see on the chord chart is basically a representation of the top of your ukulele. So at the top of the chord chart, you will see a thicker line that's going to represent the nut. You will see the strings from left to right. What you are looking at on a chord chart is string number four, three, two, and one. Then you will also see the frets. Now on my favorite types of chord charts, you will see not only a dot on the correct string and the correct fret where you are supposed to play, but you will also see if the chord chart is, like I said, my favorite kind. Sometimes it is just a plain black dot, but sometimes it is a dot that has a number inside it. The number inside the dot indicates what finger or fingers the chord is played with. So again, finger number one, two, three, and four. So we'll take a look at some chord charts and analyze what we're looking at and how that translates to the ukulele. This is the lovely wall of some basic chord charts in my music room. So we'll take a look at C in this particular chord chart that I've printed out. The nut does not appear to be uh, a thicker line or anything like that. But what we see is string four, three, two, one, or in this chord chart, of course, starting over here, four, three, two, one. Then we see the frets. So here's the space in the first fret, second fret, and third fret. And we also see the number three, which indicates that we play C with our third finger. So what I am showing you with very weird hand position on the ukulele is what I'm reading on the chord chart. Third finger, third fret, first string. This was the second chord that I taught. So that would be second finger, fourth string, second fret. Okay, then we added a finger for F. So we add this finger here. This is amazing videography skills. Second finger and first finger. Okay, so for example, let's say we are going to be um, playing the E minor chord. We know that with the information that we have on the chord chart, that we need to put our first finger on the first string in the second fret, our second finger, the next fret over and string over, and third finger there. So this is what I see on the chord chart. That's how I'm going to play E minor. So if you're watching and you're looking at a chord chart and you're wondering what the heck to do, just actually imagine that your ukulele is right there and follow the map.